And these are the principal causes that persuaded me to leave the Democratic, Democratic Party and, and run as an independent. And now to throw my support at President Trump, the, the causes were free speech, a war in Ukraine, and the war on our children. That's the spirit on which I ran my campaign and that I intend to bring into the campaign of President Trump. Instead of vitriol and polarization, I will appeal to the values that unite us. The goals that we could achieve if only we weren't at each other's throats. The most unifying theme for all Americans is that we all love our children. If we all unite around that issue now, we can finally give them the protection, the health, and the future that they deserve. Uh, we just had a very nice uh, endorsement from RFK Jr., Bobby. And I'll be talking about that. We're heading out right after this. We're going to be going to Arizona. We'll be talking about that and uh, a lot of other things, too. But I just want to thank everybody. And I want to thank Bobby. That was very nice. That was really very nice. That's big. He's a great guy, respected by everybody. The Kennedys are one of the most famous Democratic families in American history. But on Friday, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., son of RFK and nephew of John F. Kennedy, said he will withdraw from the ballot in 10 battleground states like Arizona and Pennsylvania and endorse former President Donald Trump. His name will remain on the ballot in states that are solidly Democratic or Republican. Kennedy made the announcement just days after speculation started swirling that he planned to suspend his campaign and endorse Trump instead. He was influenced by talks between Trump allies and his team, as well as being snubbed by Democrats throughout the campaign. In a speech Friday, he criticized the unprecedented events of the 2024 election so far, slamming Democrats for installing Vice President Kamala Harris without her appearing in a primary. Trump had reportedly met with Kennedy in Milwaukee last month, on the first day of the Republican National Convention, in an effort to gain his endorsement. The Harris campaign, meanwhile, is said to have denied the offer to meet with Kennedy. Kennedy originally launched his campaign in April 2023, when he ran as a Democrat against Biden. Kennedy then changed party affiliation to independent in October 2023. The Democrat-turned-independence campaign policies attracted both liberals and conservatives with his anti-war, environmental, and COVID-skeptical positions. His campaign claimed as of Friday that he had finished or was in the process of petitioning in all 50 states. It's unclear how many states will still feature him on the ballot even with his suspension. The Trump team and allies of the former president were looking to court Kennedy for months, especially Donald Trump Jr who worried that the Independent would take away votes and be an unpredictable factor in the close race against Harris. Unfortunately, members of Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s extended family expressed dissatisfaction with his endorsement. Kerry Kennedy stated, We want an America filled with hope and bound together by a shared vision of a brighter future. We believe in Harris and Waltz. Our brother Bobby's decision to endorse Trump today is a betrayal of the values that our father and our family hold most dear. RFK Jr. is the third eldest child of former Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy. The Kennedy family has been a mainstay of the Democratic Party since John F. Kennedy became president. The family has regularly dismissed RFK Jr.'s independent candidacy since he first launched his presidential bid last year. Before he launched his campaign for president, Family members also penned a column denouncing his anti-vaccination positions during the COVID-19 pandemic. While Kennedy's family appear to be disappointed, I believe that Kennedy is making the choice for what he believes will benefit America the most and save us from the dangerous ideologies of Harris and Waltz. I am predicting that there will begin to be a major smear campaign against Kennedy, or at least more than there already has been now that he's endorsed Trump. I fully support Kennedy's decision to endorse Trump and believe that he is making the best choice for America.